Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with the prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear and be Anger and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stopped whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false in accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Peace the Dead, and Pope Saint John Paul II. Rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. The, the words inflicted upon him to do COVID-19. This is Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Inturajo Special Report. Today is Wednesday, August 4, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inturajo and Hansen in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. The start of our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today. From Proverbs chapter 27, verse 12. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank uh -huh. 
Welcome back to the Inkyo Radio Special Report. We shall now commence our topic proper right now. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for the Inflorajo Special Report for Wednesday, August 4, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Pabeliana Panahashi from Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about White Cane Day. So what is the White Cane Day? Every year on August 1st, the Philippines celebrates the White Cane Safety Day pursuant to Republic Act No. 6759 of 1989. So what is the essence of the event? The law declares that it is the policy of the state to promote and to protect the physical, moral, and social well-being of all persons with disabilities, to instill public awareness of the plight of the persons who are blind, promoting recognition and acceptance of the white cane as a symbol of their mobility and independence, to serve as a reminder for the public to care for and afford due respect to these vulnerable persons in our society. August 1 of each year is hereby declared as the White Cane Safety Day for the purposes of instilling public awareness of the plight of the persons who are blind, promoting recognition and acceptance of the white cane as a symbol of the need of the blind for specific assistance and as a reminder of the individual's duty to care for and afford due respect to his unfortunate brethren. The White King Safety Act, or rather the White King Safety Day, shall be appropriately observed. Towards the end, Dep. Ed, Chet, DOH, and the Philippine Information Agency shall conduct a continuing education and information campaign to achieve the purposes as stated in the provision. Section 3 of that law. Dep. Ed, in consultation with the DOH and the DSWD, issue rules and regulations to effectively implement the provisions of this Act. In celebration of the White Cane Safety Day, let's help promote public recognition of the talents and skills of persons with disabilities and honor their contribution to society. So what is the white cane? A white cane is a device used by many people who are blind or persons who are blind. A white cane primarily allows its user to scan their surroundings for obstacles or orientation marks, but it's also helpful for onlookers in identifying the user as blind and taking appropriate care. The latter is the reason for the cane's white color, which, which in many jurisdictions is mandatory. To summarize our topic proper, in the Philippines, the law mandates the celebration of the White Cane Safety Day through Republic Act 6759, also known as the White Cane Safety Day Act, which is celebrated every first day of August. However, a one-day observance is not enough to raise an effective awareness to society to empower and uplift the lives of EWDs and to make an ultimate impact for societal change. This became a benchmark of disabled people's organizations, NGOs, who work together to create programs beneficial for EWDs. And that's the end of our pre-recorded presentation proper. Thank you very much.
Okay, we will be having our um, intermission around um, five minutes. We will be back after five minutes for our intermission. Thank you and stay tuned.
Welcome back to our special report. Let us have the time for our announcements. Okay, for our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. Our products available are the following. First is our Hands in Inclusion Philippines tote bags. If you want to buy our tote bags, here are the following prices. If you want the picture without text, sizes range from small to large and Prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want the picture in the front with text at the back, sizes range from small to large and prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. We also have our Bagong Tapang t-shirts and the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. So the available colors are white, black, blue, yellow, and red. Sizes range from small to quad XL and prices range from 325 pesos to 400 pesos. Also, for the first time, guys, Hanson Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks made by its own artists. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches and prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want an acrylic glass, you have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 pesos, but it's optional. Also, we have our Hands in Inclusion Philippines stickers. We include RES 250 pesos. In the ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs, it's 150 pesos. So how can we pay? First of all, well, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from the following payment providers. Gcash and RP Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan, Pawn Shop, and Seguana Luilier, but you need to message the Hands and Inclusion Facebook page. So, how can we deliver your ordered products to you? We will deliver your ordered products via the following courier providers. If you're living in the areas under the NCR Plus bubble, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Go Go Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country, it will deliver to you nationwide via LBC. Hansen Inclusion Online Store is open to the customers living in GCQ and MGCQ areas only. It will be closed for areas under ECQ or MECQ areas. Or rather, ECQ and MECQ areas will be closed, but it will continue to be open to the customers living in GCQ and MGCQ areas only. The operation times are 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Also, let us watch a video about the, our fundraising project, which is the Barya para sa inclusion. Let's watch this. This video of a fun.
Both the burning of Christ and the night is for the night. One thing is the bread and the bread. One thing is the bread and the bread. Why you can't also be more valid about the bread. Darkness, where your body must be bad, there will be a bug in your body. You can tell that you know who it is and that you know who it is. How do you know? So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop and also to donate to the Hands in Inclusion Philippines via our Baria Para Sa Inclusion Donation Activity or Fundraising Activity. For those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, Thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands in Inclusion Philippines. Here are some of the other events that are story for you. On August 28, 2021, at 7 o'clock in the evening, we will be having our online concert, Include Filipinas, Teaming Inclusion 2021, the online concert for a cause. So the purpose of this online concert is this will be our fundraising activity and project for the benefit of the formality of Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So the event will be at dawn on August 28, 2021 at 7 p.m. Also, if you want to have a volunteer of singers during the HEMI Inclusion 2021, send your one-minute video audition at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. So it will be done within this week as well. Also, Anthony Inclusion Philippines is looking for volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and or a desktop and a strong and reliable internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. This month, in celebration of the Buanang Wika, on the Filipino Heritage Month, or also known as the National Language Month, we'll, Best Buddies Philippines will celebrate the Filipino Heritage Month or the National Language Month via our virtual activities for the month of August. The event will start on August 7, 2021 with Merienda Hapon Po. August 13, 2021, we'll have the Sing Along Friday with Lindsay Laude. August 14 will be the Indak at Biwa. We will also have Wellness Wednesday on August 18. And on August 21, we'll have Mula sa mga Abubot. And on August 28, we'll have the Magsayat Umawit. So if you're interested to join any of these events for August 7, 13, 18, 18, 21, and 28, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and link as well. 
follow us on the following social media pages and its digital platforms. Facebook, Hanson Inclusion PH, Incluradio, Inclusports, Inclunihan, Inclugaming, and the Online Shop. Instagram, Hanson Inclusion PH, Kumu, H&I Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hanson Inclusion Filipinas, and Inclugaming as well. So it will be best for you to do this as early as now, ladies and gentlemen. So for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you. Okay, it's half the time for our shout outs and greetings. For our birthday celebrants, I would like to greet a happy birthday to the following. Uh, here. Jason Anchores, Natalie Koyu, Alex Handing, Henry Prudente, and Carmel Pabustan. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi. To Hansen Inclusion Philippines, especially to Roylan Marlang and the team. Good afternoon po and thank you to Best Buddies Philippines and Best Buddies Benilde, especially to Sir Martin Romero, Michelle Aventajado and the team. Good afternoon po and thank you. To Angat PWD United, especially to Ms. Carmen Zubiaga, Sir Archie Punanan, Ms. Chiki Solano Anire, Sir Hendrik Dacuyan, Errol Barba, and the others in Angat PWD United. Good afternoon po and thank you. And to other PWD organizations, thank you, especially to... Autism Strong Philippines, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Project Inclusion Network. We also have Special Olympics Philippines, SM Cares, Miss Possibilities, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, A Child's Dream, to the Guild of Thomasians Predicators, Ateneo Speed, and also the Psychological Society of Assumption and other PWD organizations. Thank you, Paul. To my high school and college friends, good afternoon, Paul, and thank you. To the Balthasar family, especially to my fellow classmate, uh, Angelica Nicole Balthasar and her family. Enjoy your trip in the U.S. and safe travels as well. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. If you miss this episode, it will be uploaded and to be viewed on the Hanson Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. For those who are watching us on Inclorajo and on on Inclorajo Facebook page, thank you. I hope you guys learned something from our presentation. Okay, that wraps up our Inclorajo special report for Wednesday, August 4, 2021. I will be back again tomorrow for the Thursday edition of the Inclusive Report. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng Diyos ng poong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other and we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you, good evening, good night, 
Thank you for watching and bye for now. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, salamat sa inyong panonood, mabuhay at paalam. Bye-bye!